everyone. Uh, we're going to start in just a few minutes. I just wanted to give you all a heads up. Uh, two of our three uh, speakers are here. And so we will um, just ask you to start moving towards your seats. Thank you. Welcome. A very, very hearty welcome to all of you. We're really glad you're here. Uh, we hope that you can find a seat. There's, there's plenty of room, but it's also a nice turnout. Can, can you all hear me okay? Okay, I'll leave that up to the audio folks down here. Thank you. Um, good evening. My name is Michael DeBell, and I'm the uh, chair of the Seattle Schools Scholarship Fund. And I'm incredibly excited to, uh, to see all of you here, especially our award winners who are over in this section. And we get to celebrate your, your <laughs> We are here to celebrate you. So before we get started, uh, I would like to acknowledge that we are on the ancestral lands and, ter and uh, traditional territories of the Coast Salish people. And we're also in this magnificent high school, Franklin High School, and I wanna start with a real shout out, a thank you to the, the Black Student Union of Franklin who helped us set this all up. <laughs> the staff has been great. There's, a, there's an entire theatrical production right behind this curtain. So, you know, later on, if you want to peek, Beauty and the Beast, you might want to come and see it. 
So we have a busy evening ahead and uh, we're gonna get started right away. We're gonna, we're gonna hear from our, uh, some of the, the leaders of our, our city and our school system. But uh, you're also gonna get a chance to hear from the true, true celebrities, which are those scholarship winners. So I wanted to just take a moment to help all of you understand how it is that we're able to give a half a million dollars of opportunity to these students tonight. It's, it's not magic, there's no billionaires involved, it's, it's a lot of hard work. And I wanted to recognize the, uh, the, the folks that, that do that work and, uh, and lead up to this, this wonderful night. So, so first, a schol our scholarship fund is 50 years old. It started when I was a senior in high school, when I graduated, and I, you know, I'm an old guy, right? Gray hair. <laughs> uh, we were created by the Seattle School Board and we're still overseen by the Seattle School Board. So the first layer of this scholarship system is the Seattle School Board. And the school board directors have tough jobs and the least we can do is have them stand for a moment, the past and present school board members who are here tonight, and thank them for the wonderful work they do. Could you all stand, please? So the second part of this system are the donors. We have literally hundreds and hundreds of donors. Some of them give us 10 or $20 and sometimes it's millions of dollars. It's, a, it's an extraordinary thing. We, we live in a city full of successful and generous people. They, uh, they're, they're really just ordinary folks, just like you all here. Um, and you know, when, even though we call it a charitable donation, what they're really doing is investing in you all. They believe in your set success, they believe in opportunity, and that's why they, they give to the Seattle Schools Scholarship Fund. And this year we have an extraordinary gift that uh, has really surpassed anything that we received before. C. David Hubanks, a, a longtime civic leader in Seattle, left over $3 million to the scholarship fund, which is why now we have more scholarship awardees and we are able to give them more money. So I know there are some members of the Hubanks family here tonight and I would ask you to stand and, and be recognized. We also received a, a very generous transfer of a long-term scholarship from the Karkeek Family Foundation. And I believe there are some uh, members of, of that organization also. Uh, would, would you rise? Are you here? Thank you. There we go. There are also uh, named uh, donors, uh, schools, honorees at various schools. And this is a, a wonderful thing. A lot of uh, past educators are honored by, by uh, donors who keep donating every year. So we have a lot of different ways that we're able to raise money, but it's all for the same goal. Okay, the third part is that we are a very unique scholarship. We are not a scholarship that requires you to write a a long application and hope that it goes into the pool and you might get chosen by some anonymous group. We are the only uh, scholarship that I'm aware of where the high school counselors select the winners of the scholarship. And they are confirmed by the trustees of the scholarship committee. That means that there's a lot of responsibility and some real uh, tough, thoughtful work to, to find the right uh, students among at each high school. 
So I wanted to take this moment to uh, thank those counselors for all their work. If you could just stand up real quick. Come on, don't be shy. The last, the last part of the, of the program uh, is, are the trustees of our scholarship fund. We have 15 trustees, and we come from many different uh, walks of life. We uh, meet uh, seven times a year, and we oversee this entire process. Um, I would like all of the trustees to uh, stand up and get a, get a little recognition here. We also get great support from Seattle Public Schools. We are part of Seattle Public Schools, but we are separate and unique. And there have been there, the audio team, the, uh, the board office, the finance people, all of our legal and accounting support comes from Seattle Public Schools. So we got to give them a shout out too. Now, we're gonna hear from our uh, three invited guests. Uh, we're gonna start with a man who's got a pretty tough job ahead of him, uh, trying to figure out the, the budget. You may have read about it in the paper, but he's got a big heart and he's got the kids in mind, so I think he's gonna get it right. Dr. Brent Jones, superintendent. <laughs> Michael. All right. Um, Michael said this is the 50th anniversary of the Seattle Schools Scholarship Fund. Uh, I really appreciate everyone who contributed to this over the years. I really want to start with saying thank you to the Car Key folks and the Hugh Banks folks. Thank you so much for catalyzing what's been going on since 1974. Thank you so much. I also would be remiss if I didn't give a, a very bold shout out to my, my Franklin family, uh, being an alum of this uh, August institution and being a former Black Student Union member myself, I'd just like to give Franklin a shout out as well. So we've been nurturing these aspirations since 1974 and recognizing the achievements, the resilience, and the determination and the spirit of our students is fantastic. Our students have overcome many obstacles. I believe the students that are gonna be scholarship recipients today started their academic journey in high school, perhaps online during COVID, is that right? So uh, that's, that makes this extra special. And when you graduate with that level of adversity, it gets you ready, I think, for the next steps. And our students, particularly uh, these students who are gonna talk to us today about their journeys are very unique and special in the regards that they have perseverance. They will, we claim in advance that they will matriculate through whatever next steps that they have and these scholarships are gonna be a gateway for them to be able to thrive. Would you all agree? And, and they, can't, they couldn't have done this uh, without the partnership of educators, our, our counselors, our, our teachers, all of the folks who are in these school buildings providing tremendous support for our students every day. Please give them a warm uh, welcome as well. So I'm not gonna be up here long. I wanna just say again, thank you to all of the donors. Uh, I really appreciate what you've done on behalf of our students. Our students are unparalleled and unsurpassed. I really appreciate what you, what you all have accomplished and thank you so much. Appreciate that. Thank you, Dr. Jones. Next, uh, we're gonna hear from 
the uh, school board president of the Seattle Public Schools at this uh, moment, Eliza Rankin, please come and join us. This is a job that I, I did for a while and I can tell you it's the hardest job I ever did in my life. <laughs> And you didn't even do it during COVID. <laughs> okay, real quick, I have to do this. All right, thank you. Um, good evening, everyone. Um, I'm so honored to be here tonight, especially marking the 50th anniversary of the Seattle School Scholarship Funds Award Ceremony. This milestone, underscores our ongoing dedication to fostering the academic pursuits of our students, not only through K-12, but beyond. And since 1974, this scholarship fund has been a gift of hope and support for countless young minds. Tonight, I'm proud to be part of all of us caring for this legacy. We've come together to applaud the accomplishments of our scholarship recipients and celebrate their resilience and spirit and commitment. You all have demonstrated the true meaning of perseverance, commitment to self and community, and the pursuit of excellence in your time at Seattle Public Schools. Tonight, as we honor these outstanding students, we also acknowledge the profound impact of education as a catalyst for change. This award is not just a recognition of your hard work and dedication, but also an investment in the future, supporting the next generation of leaders, innovative innovators and change makers, and strengthening our community. I'm filled with immense pride and admiration for these students who embody our shared values and aspirations for all of our future. To our scholarship recipients, you have accomplished so much already, um, but this is the beginning. And as you embark on the next phase of your journey, carry with you the lessons learned, the challenges overcome, and the dreams that push you forward. Remember, you're on the path you need to be on and the world and our communities will be so much richer for your contributions as you continue to grow and participate. Um, to the educators, counselors, and families who have supported these students, your unwavering belief in their potential and your guidance have been invaluable on their path. To the scholarship funding committee and generous donors that have made this possible, thank you. Thank you so very much for your investment in our students and in our community's future. I'd like to end by extending heartfelt congratulations again to each and every one of our scholarship recipients and invite you to join me in congratulating them one more time. Thank you. We, we are also lucky to have uh, Deputy Mayor Greg Wong from the city of Seattle, the hardest working deputy mayor in, on the whole West Coast, as far as I can tell. Also an SPS uh, dad and a longtime community member. Greg? Thanks, Michael. What he didn't say is I'm also the only deputy mayor on the West Coast that he knows. So I am also... I am the hardest working and maybe the laziest at the same time. But um, I just want to, uh, I'm here on behalf of the mayor's office, Mayor Bruce Harrell. You know, both the mayor and I share a really special connection to Seattle Public Schools. Um, first and foremost, because both of us sat in the very seats that you all are sitting in right now, students. We were both graduated from Seattle Public Schools, K through 12. My three kids, as was mentioned, came through Seattle Public Schools and actually all through this very auditorium as well, right here at Franklin High School. And we're really proud of that, whether you're from the South End or the North End, the CD or West Seattle, whichever part of the city you're from, I hope that you feel pride sitting there today that you also are a product of Seattle Public Schools. So I also have a little bit of a, a unique history with education um, because I actually was a public school teacher. I was an eighth grade public school teacher. Um, and one of the great things about our schools is that when you're a school, public school teacher, when kids come in your door, your goal is to help them succeed no matter where they come from, who they are, or whatever their circumstances. And I always thought about it 
kind of, I made an analogy that I don't know if it works so well, but I always thought of kids coming in as kind of like a glass of water. What it takes for them to succeed is when their cup is full. Some kids come in with their cups almost full to the top. Some kids come in with their cups way low and some somewhere in between. And what we do is to make sure that your cup is full, whether you're the dedicated teachers who do it every day in the classroom, whether you're maybe a mentor, a coach, uh, our parents clearly who push and love our students, uh, whether you're the city of Seattle, we help with things like preschool education and um, our commitment to funding community college for free for Seattle Public School graduates. These are all ways we can fill your cup. And I just wanna say today to the students sitting here that your cup runneth over. It is full, you have succeeded, you have done all the things to launch into bright futures. And just like the mayor and I sat in those seats at one time, I imagine that you all will one day be up here at the podium giving out awards in the years to come. So I just wanna say on behalf of the mayor and myself, Congratulations, we're so excited to see what all of you young people will do in the future. Thank you all three of you for the, for the great thoughts and uh, encouragement to these students. I would just echo uh, some of the remarks that you heard. This, uh, we could call this scholarship a resiliency scholarship, because that's really at the heart of what it's about. The, the young people you're about to hear from all had challenges in their lives that they had to, had to work through. And um, the, in succeeding and overcoming those challenges, they became the uh, strong and successful people that, that you see here. And on they go, They're, they've got an unlimited potential in their future. We, uh, we're gonna call all of them to the stage. We're gonna do it one high school at a time. Uh, believe it or not, we are organized. We have the, the high schools all the way up to there. Each aisle is a high school. So we're gonna call you up and your counselor will introduce you at the microphone here. And the student will walk to this podium and receive their uh, award and then join the counselor back at the microphone and you're invited to share remarks. Um, of course, you probably wanna thank your family. That's, that's always a good thing to do, if, especially if they're here. But uh, really you're free to, sh to share whatever uh, you feel is important. Uh, we have five minutes for each school. And so some of you may speak longer, some of you may not speak at all. Um, I also wanted to remind everyone that um, we're gonna have a photo of all of you on the stage uh, when we finish West Seattle. West Seattle's way up there at the top. Hey, West Seattle. So when we call West Seattle down, they're the last group. And then we're gonna excuse everyone else to go grab some delicious cake, fruit punch, coffee, uh, fresh fruit, and all, all the students, please don't leave, come back up here and we'll get that photo because that photo is the one and only time we can have you all together, okay? So I'm gonna sort of be the logistics person pop, popping up and calling up the high schools and then we're gonna bring our, our, um, <coughs> our school leaders back up here to give you your awards. But wait, as the commercial says, but there's more. Um, over here we have, uh, a token of this uh, scholarship. It's a, it's a pin on a lanyard and a beautiful uh, flower donated by one of our trustees. And so we wanna give you those things too as you, as you leave the stage. And then you sneak out between the wall and the curtain and you walk back around and come back around that way. If you, uh, if family members or counselor, anybody wants to take, take a photo of that student receiving an award, then they need to just come down here in the front and um, to feel free to take a photo. Okay, so are, are you all ready to go? Yeah. Here we go. Okay. 
We're, um, we've always done this in the school board auditorium, and this is brand new, and of course we couldn't do it with all the help from Franklin. So we hope it all works as we, as we planned it. <laughs> so without further ado, uh, our, our award winner from Allen Sugiyama High School, please come on up to the stage with, with your counselor. Well, hello, hello. I come before you from Alan T. Sugiyama. I am so excited to be able to introduce Isaiah Brown. A little bit about um, Alan T. Sugiyama. When you come um, to my classroom, I have a small and simple mantra, and it is that all scholars will go somewhere, and my desire is to make sure that I help them get somewhere on purpose. And this young man, student athlete, he came at the beginning of the school year, he was injured and recovering from an ACL, but he has a 3.7 something something right as of right now, and I could not be prouder. So without further ado, Isaiah Brown. First and foremost, I'd like to just thank my family for everything that they do. Um, I'd like to thank the Seattle, Seattle, Seattle Scholarship Fund yes. for making all this possible and helping me further my education. And then lastly, I would just like to thank Ms. Patterson for all her motivation and everything she did for me while at the school. Uh, Next up, Ballard High School. Come on up. Thank you, I'm Tom Kramer, one of the counselors at Ballard High School, and we are glad to be here. Um, we have three of our recipients here. One of the recipients is not here tonight. She cannot make it, Julia Alvarez. So I wanna acknowledge um, her as one of the recipients before we begin, but um, you wanna hear from the adults, the students are why we're here, so very, Quickly, we'll, we'll let, I'll introduce them and then let them have a second to, to talk as they will. And uh, again, thank you so much for SSF trustees, the foundation, the money, uh, Franklin High School for hosting this. This is great. Um, thank you. So first, Abdi Ibrahim. <laughs> yeah. there's, no, there's no rule to this. Samai Hagos. and Bentavius Schlipp Page. <laughs> and as I said, Julia Alvarez, who's not here tonight. But we'll let you guys talk. I'll get out of the way. Here you go, grab, you wanna grab this? Hey, um, I just wanna say thank you to my family for showing up today. And thanks to my mom for supporting me and helping me like take good decision. And I wanna say a shout out to Mr. Kramer for helping me like take good decision and supporting me in my, while I'm in high school and helping me sometime, yeah. And thanks for SBSF for our scholarship and a chance, thank you. Oh, good evening everyone. It is. <laughs> Um, first and foremost, I'd like to thank my family for supporting me in my academic and extracurricular ventures. Um, I'd also like to thank Mr. Kramer and all the counselors and staff at Ballard High School for supporting me and helping me um, break out of my shell more and they've helped me pursue many opportunities. And I'd also like to thank the Seattle School's trustees and the Seattle School Fund for this opportunity and scholarship. Thank you. Um, my name is Bentavious. Um, I'd like to start off thanking my family. They're the reason I made it here kind of on time. Um, I'd, I'd, I'd also like to thank the people, you know, paying for this fund in this. You know, this is like an opportunity only so many people get, clearly. Um, and I just want to acknowledge that it is a privilege. Um, and that I did take, you know, like, I did this, you know, somebody else could have had this spot and I want to acknowledge it like this is a privilege and I want to thank the people that, you know, are paying for this and this means a lot to me. Thank you. Uh, 
Ready to go, guys? Right over here. Yeah. Okay, we're, we're doing it again. We're actually moving faster than we ever thought we could. So I'm just gonna mention that you can, sp you can tell us a little bit more about yourself if you want, where you're gonna go to school, what things you overcame that, that got you here. Um, we had so many winners that we thought, oh, we gotta be really careful, but it, everybody relax. All right, Chief Sell. Good evening. My name is Daniel Rosen, and I'm here representing Chief South International High School and also our counseling department. And uh, thank you. And I'm just one counselor of four, uh, Chelsea Thomas, Chris Arillo, um, Ms. Uh, Namba as well, with these stu wonderful students here. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to introduce Emma Osgood, Tyler Jones, Sarah abdul Qatar and Marcos Rees Aziga. Thank you. Hello, every oh. Hello, everyone. My name is Emma. First of all, I would like to thank the Seattle School Scholarship Fund for giving me this scholarship. I'm so grateful for it, and I know I'll put it to good use at university next year. I would like to thank my school chief self for supporting me over these last four years. I would like to thank my mom, dad, and younger brother for always being with me and supporting me. And of course, I want to recognize my high school counselor, Chris Dorillo, who's not here tonight, but she's done so much for me and I wouldn't be here without her help. Thank you. Hey y'all, my name is Tyler Jones. I go to Chief Self International High School. I just want to give a quick shout out to my family and most especially to my mom, who I love so much from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> I apologize for being hard-headed sometimes and I promise I'll change that as soon as I can. Uh, <laughs> but I also want to give a shout out to my school, my, to the counselors, to the teachers who helped me get on the right path. Um, and I'm hoping to go and get a scholar. <laughs> thank you for, thank you to the uh, scholarship, the Seattle uh, scholarship, whatever it was called. <laughs> scholarship. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, and I'm going to uh, hopefully get a degree in uh, music performance and orchestral conducting at Central Washington University. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Um, how are you doing? <laughs> well, I'm very thankful, and I, I feel like I don't even have to mention how thankful I am. I'm very grateful to have my family, to have my family, <laughs> uh, and um, I feel. I'm honored to receive like anything and I find it a privilege and I'm very grateful. Thank you. And although Sarah is gonna pass on the mic, uh, Ms. Thomas did share a few words that she would like me to share, so I hope you don't mind. Uh, specifically, Sarah is an intelligent, resilient, driven student who doesn't give up in the face of adversity. She is a confident self-advocate and a natural helper for her friends, family, and those in her care at work. Sarah is dedicated to her academics and has excelled while challenging herself throughout high school and in her college classes at Running Start. And she is just an all-around joy to work with. So proud of you, Sarah. Well done, well done. Hey. <laughs> I have to say when we were uh, looking at all of the scholarship applications, Franklin High School really jumped out as amazing young people and here they are, Franklin High School. We're Cleveland High School. <laughs> We're actually Cleveland High School. 
<laughs> it's rough because there's a rivalry there, you know, so. <laughs> um, well, I'm Chloe Kimiai. I'm one of the counselors at Cleveland High School. I am Cleveland High School. <laughs> I am so proud to announce these four wonderful humans from Cleveland that are graduating this year and going on to do amazing, amazing things. I am so proud of all of you. Um, so I'm going to give them time to speak because we don't want to hear me talk. But our first person is Layla Ismail. Um, <laughs> next, we have Cameron Page. Misha Brown Finster and EJ or Elijah Otiano Quinn. All right. All right. Hi, everybody. That that wasn't loud enough. Hi, everybody. Okay. Okay. So thank you. First, I mean, well. I guess it's coming in everybody's speech, but thank you first to the Seattle Public Schools Scholarship Fund trustees and donors who awarded me this scholarship. Um, you, have taken, you have taken a significant step towards making college more accessible to youth of all backgrounds. Um, receiving an award and investment like this is truly an honor, and it's especially important to me, somebody who is going to college, who is the first to go to college in their family. Thank you so much to my counselors, Ms. Kimiai, Ms. Abe, and Ms. Ali for nominating me and all of these other amazing youth for the scholarship. Um, I remember being a wide-eyed freshman on Microsoft Teams asking how to like jam pack my APs into my transcript. <laughs> um, and you all gave me my first taste of what the Cleveland and wider SPS community is like, um, a community that is filled with gro growth and warmness and the ability to learn. Shout out to my mom. Without you, I literally would not be here. <laughs> and I, I can't put my gratitude into words, but like you're the strongest person I know. So thank you so much. OK, thank you, everybody. Good evening, everyone. Uh, <laughs> whoa, what that? Again, good evening, everyone. Thank you. <laughs> As you may have heard, my name is Cameron Page. It has been an interesting four years, to say the least, from enduring the isolation of COVID to taking a leadership role in student issues and becoming Cleveland High School's senior class president of 2024. Go Eagles. <laughs> I've been through so many twists and turns through my high school career, and I wouldn't change it for the world. To receive an award like this is an honor. I attribute to the support of Seattle Public Schools staff and teachers. Uh, they have done so much for me when it comes to growing into the person I am today. And with the curriculum being taught by teachers who I can say are passionate when it comes to teaching content that represents their students. Uh, Cleveland has provided space for students to thrive in its community. And in these spaces, I have found friendships I will cherish for years to come. Love you, Mish. <laughs> I would like to thank my counselor, Ms. Kimiai, for nominating me. You have been an awesome counselor, and the fact that you picked me out of 100 students is something I will cherish. I'd like to thank my mom for motivating me, and my dad for pushing me in my academics, and my sister for being my shoulder to lean on and to cry on. Without them, I wouldn't be standing before y'all today to accept this. I would also like to thank the scholarship fund trustees for making this possible. Thank you for the memory, Seattle schools. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. First, I want to thank my family right there. <laughs> yeah. No mogging allowed. <laughs> um, thank you to my brother for keeping me happy even when I feel like I can't. And my parents for keeping me afloat when I feel like drowning and keeping me grounded when I feel like flying away. Thank you to my counselors for having an open space for me to talk about my career choices. And I'm very excited that this year I got to work with them to talk about how to make it better and more accessible for students. Um, coming up that are younger than me. 
I'm honored to receive this scholarship because if you were talking to me three years ago, I would think you were lying because I had no plans considering college. And I've had teachers that were so passionate in their teaching that they inspired me to become a teacher myself. Thank you, Seattle Public Schools, for providing a community where I can achieve greatness and strive for a better future. How do I work this? Oh, well. Oh, I think I got it. I think I got it, guys. Hello, everybody. <clears throat> My bad. Hello, everybody. <laughs> My name is Elijah EJ, and uh, first I want to start off just by saying I really appreciate the opportunities I've been given so far to go so far in such a short time at Cleveland. And in CS, uh, what's it called? SPS. <laughs> I'm so sorry. And SPS, um, because honestly, I, I'm not gonna lie, I did a lot of bad things when I was younger. I was a bully and I was bullied. And just to come so far, to see how much I've grown and how much I've just helped people. And you know, just a, just a lot that's been going on as of late, but I, not gonna lie, I don't have no script. But, um, you know, one thing Cleveland's given me that I can't take back is a family. I was slated to go to Beach, but because of my IEP, I got put into Cleveland. And honestly, it's been the best thing that's happened to me. I've come out my shell. I've, I became captain of the football team, homecoming king. Um, and you know, I've helped other people just grow as a person. And other people have told me, EJ, thank you for being my friend and thank you for acknowledging me. And uh, it just really means a lot to help other people. And my teachers, ever since I got into Cleveland, said, EJ, you have such a great personality. You should become a teacher. And I was like, why not try it out? So now I'm at Skill Center, and I'm teaching kids at Maple who are in kindergarten, fifth grade, and fourth grade. So, uh, so yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I just, and I really can't, honestly, the one person that really helped me go this far was my mom, and she never gave up on me throughout all the hard times I put her through. So I thank you, mom. I love you. I forgot to shout out Miss Chloe and Miss Q, so thank you very much. Thank you very much. I think it's on. Hello? Huh? There it is. It's on now. <laughs> okay, now we got Franklin. I, my apologies to Cleveland. That was. Here we go Franklin High School. Yes, okay, so we are Franklin. Um, hi, I'm Natalie Weinstein, and I'm one of the counselors here. Thank you all for being in our house tonight. And I have a couple of my counselors here with me tonight as well who are gonna introduce their students. Um, but I'm gonna introduce my student, Cheyenne Henderson. say thank you to the Seattle Fund and also thank you to all my family and thank you to Ms. Weinstein for supporting me and believing in me. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Corey Goldstein. I'm one of the counselors here and it's nice to have you in our house. I want to introduce the student Justin Toy. Hi everyone, it's truly an honor to be here today. Um, I wanna thank the committee for believing in me. Um, this scholarship isn't just a financial aid, it's also to show how far I've come and what I've done. 
Um, growing up, I had a lot of financial troubles and it was mainly just me and my grandma and my brothers. And during my sophomore year, I've worked full time. And during my junior year, I started Running Start. And just to get this scholarship, to see those who believe in me. And you know, even when I was, when I thought I was alone, I wasn't. I just wanna thank you all. Good evening, everyone. My name is Lexi Avjacek. I've never been so nervous in the Franklin Auditorium. Uh, and I would like to introduce a student that I have come to know as Omar Tassin Choudhury. Greeting everyone. My name is Tassin, but I also go by Omar. And when I was in middle school, my family and I moved to the US with the sole purpose that my brother and I will have a college experience and college degree to have a brighter future. So this scholarship has been a great motivation for me to work even harder and pursue my dream at college. I'm truly grateful for this scholarship and the donors, especially from Lynn from Read, Read, Learn, Read, Write, Learn and who are tired and the community, the committee who are tirelessly to make sure that us scholars feel financially secure at college. I also want to take a moment to express my gratitude to my family, my friends, my mentors, upper bound staff, and my counselor who nominated me to win the scholarship. And they're always there to hold, lift me up when I needed them the most. Lastly, thank you so much for letting me speak. And the class of 2024, I wish you guys good luck on graduation and an amazing college experience. Uh, in behind, uh, so sorry. Uh, in honor of Mr. Boland, our other counselor, uh, I want to introduce Alvin Ariana Rosas. Hello, everyone. My name is Alvin Ariana Rosas, and good evening to you all. Um, today, I'm really grateful to be here, and I'm really honored to receive the Seattle Scholarship school fund and all of this wouldn't be possible without the trustees and donors so thank you and i'm really relieved and grateful to be able to receive this tonight and all this wouldn't be able to be possible without the support of my friends and family and specifically my mother and sister because they really they really keep me going and they just support me every day and it's it's really my biggest motivator and i'd also like to congratulate all the other uh, student nominees who are here tonight and although my counselor Mr. Folan isn't here he's uh he's been one of the best counselors who's been able to help me throughout my high school journey and I'm really grateful for that thank you very much Franklin if you can all just walk on down this way and we got some more yeah Garfield High School. Thanks for hosting us. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Jess Allen. I'm one of the four counselors at Garfield High School. Go Bulldogs. Um, I'm going to introduce um, our student who is not here tonight um, named Mekai Fortune. Um, he's overcome some significant challenges and is already thriving as a college student and running start. So although he can't be here tonight, I hope you guys can congratulate him in your hearts and minds. Um, but now I would like to introduce the three recipients who are here tonight. So Brianna Bechtel, um, Marissa Martinez Augustine, and uh, Amelie Valdez. Uh, hi, y'all. Um, I'm Brianna, and I'm 17. I go to Garfield. 
I just want to say thank you for Seattle Public Schools giving me this opportunity and chance. I was not sure how I was going to pay for college, but I'm not going to lie, this made it a little easier. <laughs> and, <laughs> and I'm just thankful for the support. Um, I want to thank my mom and my family, because I'm not going to lie, without my mom, I wouldn't be here right now, and my dad, too. So, yeah. Um, and yeah, um, this is going to help me in my future being successful. And thank you again. Hi, everyone. Okay. <laughs> um, almost two years ago, I don't just left my home, I left my family too. Coming here just with one dream going to college, and it's been a such hard time. Sometimes do not sleep in for more than 24 hours, having to work up to 40 hours a week. But today, just about two hours ago, I confirmed my enrollment to the University of Washington. Yeah. <laughs> I wanna go if I Big shout out to Uparpan family, because they have been a, a, such help. And to all those who made this scholarship possible, thank you. You're not just giving me the opportunity to go into college, but also you're giving me the opportunity to be a kid in this time. Thank you. Okay, hello everyone. I'm Amelie Valdez and um, I'm 17 years old and um, I plan on studying environmental science, which is only possible thanks to the Seattle Public School Scholarship. So thank you so much. Um, as an immigrant student growing up in the US and like getting to know the culture of like going to school and college, it's been a very different experience than some of the people I know, and I know it's possible thanks to this, and like, after putting in so much work and applying to schools, and there's like worrying about financial aid, and this is great support. So thank you so much to everyone, and also my mom, because she was the first to expose me to these opportunities, so thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Garfield, what a great group. We, um, we are fortunate that uh, one of the students, winners from Ballard High School was able to join us. Uh, Julia Alvarez, are you here? We wanna, we wanna uh, give you a round of applause. Well, hi, thank you. I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who supported me and got me to where I am today. Um, I couldn't have done it without my counselor nominating me for this award, and thankfully I um, got rewarded the award. Um, I want to go to school to become an ultrasound technician, and I've strived um, and gone through a lot of things to be here today. So thank you. Thank you, Leo. Um, when you uh, come up to speak, if you can stand a little bit closer to the mic, it'll be easier for everyone to hear you. Okay, Ingram High School. I, I gotta get, get it right here. Here we go. Hi, I'm Ashley Warner. I'm one of the counselors at Ingram High School. Um, we have four scholarships from Ingram and we're so proud of all of them. Two of them are here with us tonight. Unfortunately, Amelia Henriquez and Elias Rojas were not able to join us, but we're very proud of them. Um, and I nominated Olai Hardy. Right here. Speak? Right before we have our student speak, my name is Leanne Hoost. I'm one of the counselors at Ingram High School. Thank you for being here and thank you for this evening. It, it brings great joy to the people that nominate these students. It's really great. Um, and I'd like to introduce Aiden Rulias Zapata. Hello everyone, my name is Alan, and um, I'm just first and foremost want to thank my parents for coming out here and I'm just forever grateful for all the sacrifices they made for me as growing up, they've always been there for me and 
pushed me to work hard in school, and I don't think without that I would be here. I also want to take my thank my counselor, Ms. Patterson, as she was a big part in um, making me and her nomination, and as well as Ms. Kerr and Ms. Romero, as without them, they also, I wouldn't have been here, and they really just have been pushing me, and I never really would have thought that I would have been in a position to get a scholarship, and I'm forever grateful for that. And um, after high school, I plan on attending North Seattle, and after that, I can hopefully pursue a degree at another university. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, my name is Ola Hardy, as just said by my wonderful counselor, Miss Warner. Um, big thanks to my mom, dad, and sister right over here. And to everybody who made this possible. Um, it means a lot. I'm headed to Montana State University next year to study mechanical engineering. Good luck in Montana. Ready to go. Next up, we have interagency. Please come on down. My name is Kira, and I'm one of the school counselors with Interagency Academy. And I'm Trish. I am the other school counselor with Interagency Academy. Do you want to read here? Yeah. So we uh, were lucky enough to nominate four of our students, one of whom cannot be here today uh, because she is at work. Uh, but we're going to list them. And so my students are Kokoro Anon, Jordan Cochran, Ava Perez, and Nahara Stillman. We are very excited. Jordan, do you want to lead us off? When do I start? Uh, hello. <laughs> uh, I'm Jordan, and um, I don't know what to say other than it was a damn long road to get here, and it's almost over. And it was sometimes feeling like a perilous journey, but I made it through, and I want to thank everybody that helped me through, including Seattle School Scholarship Fund, you know, and Interagency for, you know, being there, being my school, and of course my parents and all my family for being my parents and my family. <laughs> Hi, my name is Nahara Stillman. Um, I had to write this down because I just, you know, you know. Um, but I really, I wanted, from the bottom of my heart, I wanted to thank first um, the Seattle School Scholarship fundies and donors, of course. Um, I'm beyond grateful. Like when she called me or you told me in person, I was like, oh, I can't believe it. You know, it was really, it's just, it's a blessing, of course. Um, of course, I wanted to take time to, you know, appreciate my teachers, of course, and. Kira, um, I'm very, like I said, very grateful. Um, I'm thankful for um, the Washington Youth Academy. Uh, if it wasn't for them, I really don't know. Um, and then of course, I wanted to thank uh, God, and I really wanted to thank my family. Um, working full time and you know balancing all these challenges and stuff like that, it was never easy and stuff like that. I wanna thank my parents and, sorry, I'm so nervous. Um, <laughs> And then I wanted to thank my, uh, I wanted to thank my dad a lot. I don't know where I would be without him. And yeah, thank you so much. We just want to say that we're so incredibly proud of not just our awardees, but all of our seniors at Interagency. You know, our students work so hard to get to this point. Um, and these students have overcome so many challenges and we're just forever impressed by what they're capable of. So thank you so much. Lincoln High School. 
our newest high school, also one of the oldest. Hey there. All right. Uh, hi there. My name is Caleb Rivas, one of the counselors here at Lincoln. And I'm uh, Mitra Vatati, another counselor here at Lincoln. Uh, we've got four terrific kids, and we're going to let them say awesome things. So um, starting off, we have Juan Herrera. And then we have Ayana Greco. And then we have Eleni Desi. And Elia Daniel. Who wants to talk first, y'all? Okay, the first thing I wanna say is thank you so much, uh, guys, for giving us the opportunity to be here and to like make our dreams real. Um, the second thing I wanna say, uh, thank you for every single mom is here. I think you guys are wonderful. Um, I really wanna say thank you for my mom. My mom is in Venezuela right now, and I'm so far off my home, and I come here to make my dream. Um, Every single friend and every single family I have in USA or outside, I really wanna say thank you for everything. Um, I wanna say thank you for Lauren and Jeff and thank you for uh, Mr. Rivas and thank you for every single person in this place. And another thing is like, I really, I'm so happy about this and thank you. <laughs> I say thank you 2,000 times and uh, <laughs> And again, another thing is like, if you see me in shorts, it's because it's so hot here, <laughs> what the heck? Um, and okay, another thing is like, viva Colombia and viva Venezuela. I love my countries. Okay, hi everyone, I'm Lenny. I wanna say thanks for my God. And then I wanna say thanks. I'll hold it. There you go. Thank you. And then I want to say thanks for my family, especially my mom. She's not here. And then I want to say thanks for SPS for the scholarship. And then I want to say thank you for my counselor. Thank you. Hi, everyone. My name is Ayana. Um, I want to thank, first and foremost, the counselors, the amazing, amazing counselors um, for nominating me for this award and for helping me with academics and emotional life for the last four years. Um, I want to thank the scholarship fund. I want to thank all of the teachers that I have had the opportunity to collaborate with at Lincoln High School for the last four years. They truly, truly have been amazing, and I would not be here without them. Um, I wanna thank the Fair Felon family for housing me for the last year um, and letting me sit at their dinner table and speak very mediocre French with them. Um, and I wanna thank all my friends for supporting me and loving me so much. Um, and all the other people who were nominated. Um, I'm truly honored to be a part of this amazing class of people. So thank you so much. Uh, yeah, I'm thankful to be here. Thanks for the scholarship. Uh, I'm just happy to be here, you know. Uh, I don't think I deserve it, but I guess I was chosen. But thank you for everything, uh, the people that donated. So, yeah, that's it. Lincoln, come on. You can come on down here and. Uh, yeah, perfect, thank you. Next up, we have Middle College. Welcome to the stage, Middle College. Hi there, I am Mary Hill. I am the school counselor at Middle College. And at Middle College, we have a very small, close-knit high school of only 100 kids, so I know all of these kids very well, so I wanna introduce them, but I also wanna say some, some things about them before they talk real quick, because I just am so proud of them. So first we have Jasmine Barrett, and then Cindy Lee Tian, and then Omar Jama, and Aiden Hobtamarium. And I wanna, yeah. 
So Jasmine, Jasmine is a strong leader in our community. She works hard and shows resiliency every day. Jasmine never gives up on herself or others. Jasmine, I'm so proud of you and how far you've come. And I know you will achieve big things in life. So Cindy, Cindy is one of the kindest students I've ever known. To know Cindy is to love her. She is continuously wowing us with her performance academically and also artistically. Cindy, I'm so proud to know you and to have witnessed your growth and for big things. Omar, Omar is a bright spot in our community. He brings his best self to school and he's always kind and helpful to his peers and to staff. Omar works very diligently in his courses and sets high goals for himself. Omar, you're so deserving of the scholarship and we're all so proud of you. And last but not least, Aiden. Aiden always approaches challenges with a positive attitude and energy. She's incredibly kind and she sees the best in others. Aiden works very hard and challenges herself to meet high standards. Aiden, it's an honor to know you and we can't wait to see what your future holds. Okay, now that I'm actually standing here, I'm a lot nervous than I thought I was gonna be. But um, first of all, good evening to everybody here. I wanted to say a quick thanks to Seattle School Scholarship Fund and SBS. Thank you for allowing us to have this scholarship. It opens a lot of opportunity, but also is like a sigh of relief because financial aid, just for money in general, could be really hard. Um, I want to give a quick thanks to the staff at my middle college high school. It's a bit different from your normal high school, but um, middle college just has fostered for me a community and a family, and I'm very grateful for them. Um, I want to thanks to my principal, Kevin, my high school counselor, Mary, and Nina, who isn't here, but I'm immensely grateful for her. Um, Steve, my English teacher, and Shala, uh, they have definitely just made high school an experience and a core memory for me, so I'm very grateful for them. And then also, but most importantly, my family, my dad, my mom, who have done a lot for me. They are literally my everything, and um, without them, I wouldn't be here. My siblings, especially my two younger brothers, everything I do is all for them, and I just want nothing but the best for them. But overall, I'm very thankful for this opportunity, and thank you again. Hello, everyone, and uh, happy Thursday, I think. Um, first of all, thank you to my parents for bringing me into existence. Thank you, my family, my sister, too, for cheering me up when I feel sad. And thank you especially to my mom for raising me. I appreciate all that you do for me, and I'm so proud to be your daughter. Um, thank you for all the staff at MCHS, Middle College High School, my high school. Thank you for giving me a safe place to grow and learn these past few four years. Um, I know I sound like I'm on the verge of crying, but I promise it's from happiness <laughs> and also <laughs> nerves too. <laughs> thank you. Um, thank you especially to Mr. Philip for all his heartfelt appreciations and encouragement. He isn't just staff, he's a true superhero and inspiration. My gratitude to Miss Mary Margaret for her amazing patience, grace, and care. The same goes for Miss Yvonne, my mentor, who looks out for me and guides me with wisdom and kindness. Thank you so much. <laughs> Hello, uh, my name is Omar Jama, and you know, first of all, I'd just like to thank God and my family, you know, for bringing me here in the first place. I'd like to specifically thank my parents, you know, my mom, my dad, for coming all the way from Somalia, you know, just going through all that hardship just to get me to where I am right now. I thank my siblings, you know, for pushing me to my be my best, and my niece, who's just like right there recording me, you know, and, and I'd like to take the staff of Middle College High School, you know, Mr. Phillip, my dean of students. Uh, he's been a great help these past four years. Uh, I'd like to thank Kevin, my principal, and I'd also like to thank Ms. Mary Mark, who's standing right behind me for being, you know, great help and, you know, nominating me for the scholarship in the first place. So, thank you. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all? Okay, cool. Hi, my name is Jasmine Barrett. I just turned 18 yesterday, so woo -hoo! <laughs> um, I honestly want to thank my mother, who, even though she risked her health 
every single day and is very exhausted every single day. She still gets up to provide for me and my siblings alone by herself. Um, I want to thank middle college staff for not giving up on me, even though I'd be wanting to give up on myself a lot of the time. And I just wanna thank my friends who support me. I see them up there saying, woo, in their heads. I can know, I already know. But I would thank you for supporting me and giving me the, giving me the advice that I need in my times of need, being the support that even my own parents can't be sometimes. Um, thank you for my high school again, because Lord, I don't know how to explain my gratitude to them. I wouldn't have this opportunity unless I went through them. But most of all, I want to thank God. I want to thank God for giving me the strength, giving me enough wisdom and knowledge, giving me nothing but opportunity. I want to praise God for that. So thank you. That was great. Thank you, Middle College. Come on down. Nathan Hale High School. Good evening, everybody. My name is uh, Mr. Max. That's how those students know me. I'm one of the three counselors that represent Nathan Hale. We got four amazing scholars up here. So let me introduce our first scholar, Pop Din, and he will, he's gonna come up. Yeah. Hello. Hello, everyone. My name is Pop, and first of all, I want to thank my parents for like trusting me to be 6,000 miles away from them and for giving me the opportunity to um, live the high school experience and also the college experience next year. I um, also want to thank my counselor, Mr. Max. He helped me through this amazing journey all alone. I mean, I also want to thank my cousin. He's right there filming. Um, he accommodated me with his brothers. They're not here today, but I also want to thank them. And I want to also want to thank God. Mashallah, everyone made it. And Alhamdulillah. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Christy Thompson. I'm one of the school counselors at Nathan Hill. It is my privilege to introduce my two deserving students I present to you our future computer scientist, um, Armin Malaki, who will be studying, studying at the University of Washington. I also present to you Naraya McGee, who, who is our future electrical engineer who will be studying at Syracuse University. Good evening, everyone. I just want to say thank you to my mom who support me all day after we immigrated here two years ago. It was a hard journey. And I just want to say thank you to the Hell community who welcomed me. Like I cannot say even the word about the, how they supported me all these two years. I was the only Persian student over there. They support me every day. And I also, I want to thank my counselor, Ms. Thompson. We had a lots of meeting, if I be honest. <laughs> we had a lots of meeting about how tough was a high school career to me after I immigrated here, but it worked it, it worked it. And I just wanna say thank you for Seattle Public School to, who gave me this amazing scholarship. Thank you all. Hello, uh, good evening. Uh, All right, uh, thank you. There are many people who I would like to thank for receiving this award. Um, I would like to begin with my mom and my dad. My dad's over there, by the way. Uh, throughout high school, they have always been there for me, pushing me to be the best that I could be, and they're always telling me to reach for the stars. And then secondly, I would like to thank my lovely counselor, Ms. Thompson. Since the start of my freshman year, she has always been there for me, supporting me academically and emotionally, no matter the situation. And I want her to know that I am one of her biggest fans and that I appreciate all the hard work that she has put in to make my high school a better place. 
And then lastly, I would like to thank all of my friends because without their love and their kindness, I wouldn't have discovered the strength within myself to push through my struggles. I plan to continue my journey at Syracuse University in pursuit of an electrical engineering degree where I hope to one day inspire and support young girls everywhere, encouraging them to enter the field of STEM. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Kelly Creech and I am the very lucky counselor of Malak Okram and I'm here to introduce you to her tonight. Hi guys, um, I'm Malak. Uh, first I wanna thank my mom and my family. They're always pushing me to do things that maybe I wasn't comfortable doing. And I also wanna thank Seattle schools for this opportunity and Miss Creech for always being there for me when I wanted her and like me being a hijabi Muslim in a school she's always been so welcoming with opening arms and yeah thank you great job next up we have Rainier Beach Hello everyone, uh, my name is Heidi Lally. I'm one of three school counselors at Rainier Beach High School. Um, we have Savali Tamu and Cynthia Beristain Rivera who cannot be here tonight. However, as a team, we nominated these four individuals up here. Um, it was incredibly difficult to narrow it down to just four. Rainier Beach has such an amazing student community. Um, our first uh, nominee is Cassie Ao. I'm gonna introduce everybody. Diane Mayorga. <laughs> Herani Zamena. Did I get it? And Simone Collins. Hi everybody, my name is Cassie and I first off wanna thank Seattle Public Schools for creating such a nurturing environment for me for the past 12 years. And I also wanna honor my family and my friends for giving me the encouragement that I needed this year throughout my education. Um, after high school, I plan on going to UW for pre-medicine and I know that whoever will come to Seattle Public Schools next will be in good hands, thank you. Hello everyone, good evening. My name is Diane Mayorga and I'll be attending Seattle University. Yes. Yes. First and foremost, I'd like to thank my family, especially my mom because she has always supported me throughout everything and I really wouldn't be here without her. Secondly, I'd like to thank the counselors and staff at Rainier Beach High School for always helping me and for not nominating me for this scholarship. And lastly, I'd like to thank the Seattle School Scholarship Fund for providing this amazing opportunity to me as a first generation college student. I'm very grateful to have been selected. Thank you. Um, hi, my name is Harani. Um, first, I wanna thank God. Obviously, I wouldn't be here without him. Um, I want to thank my friend Zella, she's sitting up there, showed up for me, yes, and then I want to thank the Seattle Scholarship Fund, of course, and all of the people that contributed to it because I do need that money, yeah, <laughs> and then, yeah, after high school, I plan to go to Temple University in North Philly to study sports medicine, yeah, go Owls, thank you. <laughs> Hi, my name is Simone. <laughs> my name is Simone. Uh, I want to thank the scholarship fund for funding me because uh, I'm the first one in my family to go to college. Yeah. Also, 
<laughs> I also want to thank my mom. I love her so much. <laughs> all my siblings, they're all here, uh, very loud. But yeah, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Good job, Rainier Beach. We're going, we're going this way, yeah. And then we're gonna call up Roosevelt Rough Riders. All right, good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Edward Rowe. Uh, I'm representing for Roosevelt High School. Um, I am not a school counselor, by the way. I'm a CTE uh, career-connected teacher. Uh, our school counselor, Carrie Richard, cannot make it today, so I would be obviously introducing our awardees. Uh, it is my privilege to introduce uh, Emmanuel. Um, sorry if I butchered your last name, brother. Uh, Waldman Hen, is that how you pronounce it? Sorry. <laughs> um, uh, Gian Gianna Acosta and uh, uh, Fiona McCarthy and uh, Freweni Gebrewet. So thank you. Uh, to begin, I'd like to give the utmost thanks to God and my mom. Those are those two are the ones who help have helped me and shaped me to who I am today. I'm on, honored to be able to receive this scholarship, and I'm it, and I am thankful for all the fund trustees that helped me make this happen. All glory to God. Okay, let me see. Can y'all hear me okay? Yeah. Yay! Okay, hi. Um, four years ago-ish, my freshman year, my mother was diagnosed with um, a really rare type of cancer. I know, kind of uh, bringing that up out of nowhere. Um, and then, you know, she went through almost a year of chemotherapy and then, you know, she was doing well. And in kind of the end of my junior year, um, she was re-diagnosed with another type of cancer, leukemia, um, that was a result of the chemo from the first time, you know, giving her leukemia. Uh, I don't, it's science is weird. So then they gave her more chemo and then they gave her a bone marrow transplant in September. So yay, she's recovering now. Um, <laughs> Hi, Mom, giving a speech. <laughs> um, but a lot of times, you know, we as people, we have these weird things that we like. And then one day, something huge and major comes along and it derails everything that you think you know and who you, thank you. <laughs> um, you know, like what you think you know, who you think you are, everything, and you start realizing especially in these, you know, scenarios that um, the things that you love are what are going to keep you going. It's not the things that you think other people love. It's what you love. And for me, that was, you know, helping people around me. That was, you know, creating dumb clubs, whether it was like um, Womanism Club, which, you know, focused on women of color in my school, um, or being the president of the Latino Student Union, or creating Cat Club, things like that, you know, that's what helped me get through these things and sharing my experience. And um, now I wanna go to college, get my master's in library sciences and become a librarian <laughs> to um, then, you know, help somebody else one day. Um, so I wanna thank everybody who's, you know, gotten me here. Um, Seattle Scholarship Fund, did I butcher that? Okay, I feel like I've forgotten S somewhere. Um, my counselor, Miss Richard, Carrie Richard, she's not here and I'm really sad because she's helped me a lot. Um, my stepmother, Crystal, hi. Um, she stepped up in being my mother <laughs> um, when my father, you know, kind of left and she's done a lot for me. Um, and finally, my mom, um, she's, <laughs> I love you too, hi. Um, she's fought tooth and nail so that I could go to college. She's wanted me to go to college for so long. And, you know, she's just done so much. And I'm so proud to be her daughter. And I hope that one day I can make her proud even more. And it's just everything. So thank you so much. Thank you, everybody here. Sorry, I didn't mean to turn it into like a sop fest, but it means a lot. Thank you for 
for being here, everybody. It's hard to follow up, Gianna. Thank you. Um, uh, first off, I'd like to thank the Seattle Schools Scholarship Fund. Um, I'm very grateful. I'm excited to be going to New Mexico next year for art. And uh, thank you. Um, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I've not, it's been an interesting high school experience. Um, I'm really grateful for my family and my, my found family. Hi, Quinn. Um, and Cleo. And yeah, sorry, I'm not, I don't know what to say. Thank you. Thank you, Roosevelt. Hi, my name is Franny. First, I want to say thank you to God and my family, my, all, all my teachers uh, for the all supporting. And my counselor, he's not here, but I want to say thank you. And thank you for the SPS scholarship. We are uh, down to our last four high schools. Um, I believe one of the scholarship winners may have left a phone up here, and you can claim it when you come up for the group photo. We'll have it up here. Uh, Seattle World School, please come on up. Hi, my name is Teresita. I'm part of um, the team at Seattle World School. I'm here with Mr. Butler, Mr. Rusty. Um, it was a tough decision to choose um, to nominate these four. Um, we have so much um, uniqueness and uh, special people at Seattle World School. Um, it is an honor and a joy to, to introduce you to Adonai, Didi, Tran, um, Raquel. Um, you are light to our community. You bring so much to our community. Your determination, your courage, your love, your smiles. Um, you are so much brightness to our community, and you are awesome. I'm, I'm going to let them speak. <laughs> Hi, everyone. <clears throat> uh, my name is Aronai. Today I'm here is for so I'm going to say thank you, God, for everything. And uh, I want to say thank you to, <clears throat> sorry, I want to say thank you the people who support me on my path to graduate, especially like I want to say thank you my mom and my dad. Uh, my mom is not here to know, but I want to say thank you and I love you so much. Uh, yeah. And finally, I want to say thank you for giving me this scholarship to the, uh, yeah, thank you guys. Hello and good afternoon, everybody. My name is, my name is Didi and I come from El Salvador. I arrived when I was 10 years old. I have changed school eight times in seven years. And I wanna thank my teachers, my family, who have pushed and supported me to continue with my education. I wanna thank God Almighty for giving me life. And especially, I wanna thank my mom, who raised me and my four other siblings while managing a store, uh, going through city to city, carrying heavy equipment through the heat so me and my siblings could live comfortably. Thank you and te quiero más. Okay, hello everyone. So my name is Tian and uh, first of all, I want to say thank you for everyone for being here today. Um, for now, I want to say a little bit about my feelings. So I feel very thankful and appreciate for being one of the four students that represent uh, Seattle Gold School to receive the scholarship. And I want to say thank you for my teachers, uh, Mr. Rusty, Ms. Teresita, for choosing me. Um, 
and other students from my school to have this scholarship, which will be very useful for us if we want to go to the college in the future. And also, I want to say thank you for myself, for my mom from home, and also, I want to, wait, <laughs> I want like, thank you for all the advice from my friends and my family, and still the public school for the scholarship. Thank you so much. <laughs> Hello, good evening. My name is Raquel. I am from Honduras. Uh, I am very excited to be here. I want to say first of all that I am grateful to God for all the blessing and opportunities. He gives me, he gives me also great, grateful to my family, mainly to my parents. Uh, my sister and my boyfriend. Uh, thanks you for chasing me for this scholarship. Thank you, thanks you very much for supporting me to all the teachers for teaching me. And thanks you, Seattle Public School Fund, for this opportunity. Uh, also, Mr. Resita and Mr. Rossi, thanks you very much for listening. Great work, World School. <laughs> Next up, the Nova Project. Young could not be here tonight, so I will be speaking for her. I will be attending Pitzer. I was drawn to it by its dedication to social justice and change, which has been a huge part of my education, education since attending Nova High School. I am very grateful to Nova for giving me a liberatory education that encouraged me to push outside my comfort zone and find myself as a learner and a leader. I don't know what I will be specifically studying in college yet. I hope to broaden my understanding of many subjects and learn as much as I can. I love animals and I'm currently working at a cat's cat for rescue cats. Cat's cafe, rather, for rescue cats. I see myself working within cats, with cats, my whole life and hope I can use my time here to help as many cats find loving homes as I can. So if you know a cat who needs help, me as your girl. <laughs> Hi, my name is Allison. I'm a teacher at Nova, and I'd like to say some words about Seth Osborne. Seth's teachers call him thoughtful, a gentle soul, a gifted animator, a hardworking self-starter, a writer of meaningful poetry, a patient teacher, and a rock star. He's gone from believing that he would never finish school to becoming a leader in the Nova community and in the community at large, where he is a regular food bank volunteer. Nova staff nominated Seth for his persistence and perseverance through challenges and his commitment to a personal and community growth. Seth plans to use his scholarship to pursue a career in social work. Congrats. Uh, all right, thank you to my mom for always being there for me. Thank you to Allison for being an amazing teacher. Thank you to everybody from the Rogers program, especially Avery. And thank you to the Seattle School Scholarship Fund. Hi, I'm Terrence. I'm a teacher from Nova. Um, uh, Ellie, Ellie Pitt uh, couldn't be here tonight. Um, and you're all missing out because they're the emanation of joy. So sorry about that. Um, I'm going to introduce Panda Dawson Duvall. And I'm going to say a few words first. 
A metaphor, I'm a language arts teacher, so I'm gonna teach you a little something. A metaphor is different from a simile by the change of or the dropping of one word. A simile uses the word like. Example, panda is like art. Whereas a metaphor uses the word is and drops the word like. Example, panda is art. I would posit that panda is a metaphor in this life thus far. Art is her blood, breath, and body. Whether panda takes the form of poetry, racial justice, story, music, teacher, drawing, painting, costuming, panda is this thing we humans have labeled art. Again, just to remind everyone, not like art, is art. Very different. Because when a human being manifests as something and not like something, gravity changes in a room. People and ideas fall toward this well as a law of the universe. We, the other humans who orbit a person like this, fundamentally change. We are influenced and learn new possibilities of how we could be. We are now different in life than we were before. This is how it is to be around Panda. Her peers and teachers will all attest to this, and it is for this reason that we, the teachers of Nova, voted for Panda to be honored by this distinguished scholarship. She will be using this scholarship to attend the Fashion Institute of Technology in New York City in the fall because they too recognized and understood what a human embodied metaphor is. Panda Dawson Duval. Okay, thank you Terrence for the intricate slam poetry about me. <laughs> that really means a lot. Um, I really struggled in high school and Terrence definitely really helped me through all of that. Um, yeah, I, if you asked me a few months ago what I would be doing, I would not say graduating and I would also not say going to New York to study fashion illustration, so that's really cool. Um, I would like to thank my mom for raising me to be an artist and raising me to be creative and I would like to thank my dad for everything he's done for me. Um, the transition from France to America to be my father was probably hard and I want you to know that every sacrifice you've made is really appreciated. Um, yeah, thank you so much. This means a lot. Thank you to the scholarship, too. I'm really excited. <laughs> Yay. So we're almost to the finish line here. <clears throat> I know it's getting late and you're all thinking about cake. So, but I want you to rally a little bit and, and uh, give the last two schools your, uh, your full attention and applause. Center School. Yes. Yay. All right, good evening. My name is Michelle Hayes and I am the proud um, school counselor of these beautiful, powerful, um, next leaders. And um, I, we've got Milo Clark, Eros Nelson, Nathan Campbell, and Scarlett Winneman. Hi. Uh, what's up, everybody? <laughs> uh, I'm Milo. I'd like to start off by thanking uh, my parents, my family. I have three parents here tonight. I'm really grateful for everything they've done. Uh, all the late night study sessions, uh, encouraging me to not procrastinate all the time. Still haven't learned that lesson. Uh, I would also like to, on behalf of all four of us, uh, thank Dr. Marvin Grays. Uh, he wasn't able to be here tonight, uh, but he was our black studies teacher last year. Um, and honestly, I know I can speak for all four of us when I say that without him, I don't think I'd be on this stage. Uh, he has changed the way I look at education and he also inspired me to go to the University of Washington next year. Go dogs. <laughs> um, to study American ethnic studies and walk down the same path that he has. Uh, thank you very much. And thank you to Seattle uh, School Scholarship Fund uh, for this opportunity. Oh, of course, yeah.
Hello, um, I'm Eros, um, and I would first like to thank my dad um, for honestly being the best dad a kid could ever ask for. Um, he is, <laughs> um, he um, raised me by himself. Um, a lot of people say it takes a village. I had just my dad and I think that was plenty enough. Um, and I would also like to um, dedicate what I do in the future to someone very close and dear to me who, um, his name is Aaron. Um, sadly, last year he passed of an overdose. Um, and I want to, in the future, study um, early childhood education because he was failed a lot during his um, early childhood, specifically in preschool. Um, and I want to do whatever I can to prevent what happened to him happening to other kids. Thank you. Hi, I'm Nathan. Sorry, this is perfectly my height now, finally. Um, but I just want to say thank you to my family, specifically my parents. Thank you, Mom, for helping me fill out FAFSA. Um, I'm just excited to be graduating. We're finally there, right? <laughs> um, I'm really excited to be going to the Fashion Institute of Technology also. Um, and to my fellow students up here from the center school, these guys are amazing and these are the amazing student leaders that have helped create the community at our school. Hello, I'm Scarlett or Escarlata. Um, I wanna say thank you to my family and all my friends and everyone who helped me get this far. I am a student of color and I'm also disabled. And so like this means a lot. This brings the total yearly of scholarship money that I get from my school to be nearly, I think 31,000 a year, which is amazing. I'm going to, I'm going to Pace University in New York to study um, forensics and musical theater. I always knew that I wanted to do musical theater, but then I, my mom sort of jokingly told me like, just around the time, like halfway through COVID, you should do forensics because you love those shows so much. And so I kind of just ran with that and now I'm going to school for forensics. And so that's really cool. And so yeah, so I just wanted to say thank you. And also to like my fellow students, I counted like I counted with arrows and there are only 10 kids of color at my, I'm in my grade and three of us are standing here and it's amazing. So thank you all, thank you. Great stuff, Center School. Here we are, West Seattle High School. All right, good evening. I'm Mallory Newman. I'm one of the four school counselors at West Seattle High School. Um, three of us are here tonight. We're missing Erica Wynn. Um, we're really excited to introduce our students to you all tonight. Three of four are here. Um, Vlad Pastushenko, unfortunately, was not able to join us this evening. Um, but we're really excited because we feel like these students exemplify West Side pride um, at West Seattle High School and are just all around great human beings. So we're gonna start with Abdi Rahman, Abdi Rahman. Abdi is not personally a student of mine, but he's one of those students who everyone in the building knows. Um, he has a great sense of humor. Um, he's authentically himself and he's just an all around great person. So you're gonna hear from Abdi. Hello. Uh, first of all, I wanna thank God because obviously without you, I wouldn't, obviously without him, I wouldn't be here. I want to thank my family, all the way up top over there. Yep. <laughs> and then I want to make my, I want to thank my counselors because they believed in me, and without their belief, I wouldn't be here. So I, I take pride in that, and hopefully I can fulfill their faith in me. And I want to thank my fellow students from West Seattle High School because well, we've been in this together for all four years through COVID, and now we're about to walk the stage in the next month, which is pretty exciting. And I wanna say thank you 
and thanks to the other students. I mean, I personally don't know you guys, but I mean, we're here, like I said, we're in this together and let's get it done. <laughs> Hi, I am Kinsey Hadeen, one of the school counselors at West Seattle High School, and I am here to introduce Solomon Kaswari. Solomon has, I've been his counselor for the last two years, and he has grown incredibly in these two years. It has been a huge privilege to watch him. Um, we actually have this thing in the counseling center now that's called the pool of joy that Solomon created metaphorically by so much success in his college applications and his scholarship opportunities. Um, and Solomon is an incredibly hard worker. Um, and I could not be prouder that he has won this award. So I'm gonna give him some opportunity to speak. Um, first of all, I would like to thank my uh, high school counselors for providing me with this scholarship. And I would also like to thank the scholarship um, fund trustees and donors. And I would also like to thank my mom, but she's not here, so. Um, and I would like to thank West Seattle High School for pro providing me with a supportive environment. And yeah. Um, hello, best for last. Um, I'm, my name is Christine Nutters and I am the counselor of Darren Tanaka, who is our last recipient. Um, and Darren is one of those students, I think this is true for all three of you, or all four. Um, I can see your future so clearly and your hard work is just evident every day. Darren has helped launch our DECA program. She has studied abroad in Japan. Her future business skills are just like, you're on point. I can see it so clearly. So, emerito gozaimasu. Um, and you're gonna say something. Yeah. I'm so proud of you. Yeah. Oh. Sorry guys, I'm kind of short. Um, good evening, my name is Darren Tanaka. I'm from West Seattle High School. I've been, I'm actually going to Washington State University for bioengineering. Um, first of all, I want to thank the um, Seattle School Scholarship Fund and all the trustees and donors. Uh, without you, I kind of wouldn't be here and it wouldn't be easier to get to college. Um, and especially the Smith family who is helping West Seattle High School specifically. I want to thank my school counselors and especially Ms. Nutters for um, helping me grow and believing in me. I actually moved to Washington about three years ago, just after COVID finished from Hawaii. So it was a really big shift. Um, so double thank you for helping that. And thank you for this huge and amazing opportunity to be one out of four of almost 300 kids in my grade is absolutely mind blowing to me. Uh, thank you to my mother who has always been pushing me to do my very best and never take second place, even though I am second born. Um, <laughs> thank you for always making my dreams reality from helping me get to studying abroad in Japan and now in Germany. <laughs> Sorry, um, from, I'm not crying, uh, from my sports to, and now prom, which was really expensive. Oh my gosh, prom is so expensive, guys. Um, thank you to my sisters who, <laughs> even though they make me mad sometimes, they're always there for me, for me to rant, for me to cry on, and to rant to people, to rant to them about why people do the things that they do. Um, but thank you to everybody who's made this possible. Thank you for the, thank you for being here nominees and I hope we have the very best rest of the year. Thank you so much. We made it to the end of the program, which means that all except the scholarship winners have to, you're staying here. Scholarship winners stay up here. Everyone else gets to go get cake, fruit, juice, coffee in the commons. The ushers will be up there to show you where to go. There's plenty of everything. And meanwhile, we're gonna ask all the students to come back up on stage. So go have some fun. All right, you guys gonna help me try and arrange?